up. I think I need to fix the YouTube chat. There we go. There we go. Okay, there we are. There we go. We're good. We are good. You guys are going to let me know about any audio just so I have this all set up correctly. Let me go back over here so I can read. Yep, it's time. This should be Pokemon hopefully on the Switch is what we're hoping for. Uh, <laughs> yeah, only 15 minutes. Not much longer. So pretty excited right now. Pretty excited. We're good there. Everything's good. Got everything set up. Yep. All right. Now we just kind of now we sit back and we wait. Go to YouTube so I can read the comments from there. <clears throat> so I'm hoping it's not a 3DS Pokemon. <laughs> well, all right, listen. So if it's uh, if it's a Switch and a 3DS at the same time, like how Monster Hunter was, I'm fine with that. It's more along the lines of if they hit us with a with a 3DS version, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, the FIFA mic volume up. Got it. I will turn the mic volume up. I just didn't want to be too loud compared to the, um, the, uh, what you call it? Um, the, the, tra the trailer is what I'm trying to say. Let me have 15 minutes on my headphones. I can, uh, I can turn up the volume a little bit, I think, in recording devices. Let me turn this bad boy up. Mm. <laughs> uh, let's see. How about, uh, about now? Does that sound any louder? Yeah, the switch can run frostbite. Yeah, no, absolutely it can. Keep in mind they, they I think they ran Frostbite. Yeah, they ran Frostbite on the 360 and the PS3. So, yeah, it can it can run Frostbite. <laughs> if you guys watch Newswave, you'll know it's um it's a pretty bad situation with EA right now, but honestly, I I the more I think about it, the more I should have expected it. So, no. Oh well. You know, I mean, that's just that's just EA being EA, I guess. Let's fix some stuff. It's only going to be about eight minutes, so this is going to be pretty quick. Um, that it, that should be long long enough to show, I think uh, one, maybe even two games. To be honest with you guys, so it's going to be it's going to be quick. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can move that up. Sorry, I'm just messing around with the with the stream while I'm waiting. Huh. Is that the Pokemon Direct? Which is hopefully about the Switch. Boom. All right. What do you guys think? Um... You won't buy. Yeah, that's the thing though. EA is gonna be like, uh, that's why we don't. That's why we don't. Uh, that's why we don't make games for Nintendo. And it's like, well, bring an actual game over that's complete and see what happens. People are also saying that this might be like a Diamond and Pearl remake. I'm fine with that too. <laughs> Trailer. Trailer for Pokemon movie. Oh, man. 
Um, it depends if it's if uh, the chat's delayed. If I look at um, the stream, but if I look at my back end here, I think it's like in real time. But what you see from me is delayed. Um, that's just something that YouTube has been work has been dealing with for a long time. So is uh, Twitch. Really, ever since we've had streaming, that's why people are looking at Mixer so much because it's much less delayed. So. Yep. Pokemon FIFA. Ah, <laughs> uh, FIFA. FIFA, FIFA, FIFA. Yeah, there's there's so much out there about this Switch Pokemon game. It's hard to believe it wouldn't be a Switch, right? It's it's so hard to believe it's not a Switch Pokemon game. It just it's like seriously, it's too it's too hard to not to not see that. I'm going to get that ready with some... Yeah, you guys just have to let me know if the audio is too low or high pretty quick. I, I have it set the same as Monster Hunter, so that should be pretty much the same um, how we watch Monster Hunter. But we have 10 minutes. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. They got... Man, that, this is going to be a massive uh, uh, viewing over there, I got to say. All right, I'm going I'm to stop touching that window. Uh, this will be a massive viewing though. They have like fifty thousand uh, people there, so there's me. It's me pretty serious, man. You got a five a.m. Pacific, man. You did, did you really stay? Yeah, that's the thing. What's the what's the time like everywhere now? Is it like like here? It's almost 10 a.m. That's just it seems like they set it up for Eastern time when I look at it. I don't know if it's because they're like more based out of New York or something. Midnight. Oh, at the um at the Pokemon Direct, they have like 50,000 people ready to roll. So. That's me. That's me. Interesting. Yeah. No. I was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Four p.m. Oh, let's see. See, four p.m. is a good time. I'd be like, ah, oh, sweet. It's only four o'clock. We're good. I'd be right with four p.m. <laughs> Five increase. Ah, cool. <clears throat> in Finland. Wow, geez. Yep, we got we have nine minutes officially. <laughs> We're so close. We're so close. <laughs> I am ready for this uh I'm ready for this reveal. Oh, come on. It can't. It can't be. A, it can't be something about the Pokemon Go, can it? It can't be. Uh, it can't be um, a 3DS. I mean, it's, it, it might be a 3DS game, but it can't be a 3DS game, can it? Come on. There's so much buildup. Although, what would be really funny is if it's not. Um, if it's not Pokemon Stars or whatever, Eurogamer is gonna look kind of dumb again. So. Nine fifty two in Philippines. Wow, geez, four. Okay, yeah, four fifty. I just saw the four. Uh, almost five o'clock in Greece. Pokemon Go minor text, but yeah, they actually just put an update out for Pokemon Go. So hopefully it's uh hopefully it's pretty straightforward here. Uh, I should probably tweet this out just in case anybody else. Um. To see it, just gotta hit Twitter real quick. I got like seven minutes left, so they don't, they don't have long if they want to jump in here.
yep. All right, we're good. I'm uh Man, there we go. We almost got a almost got a thousand people in here ready for Pokemon. I'm ready for Pokemon. The stream delay. <laughs> that's just that's how it is, man, with uh uh what you call it? With YouTube. Might have to turn off. I'm realizing this. I might have to turn off that um, that subscribe animation. I know, right? Probably. <laughs> oh no, subscribers. Yeah, no. I just I don't want to bug anybody because this is this is this could be a monumental uh, announcement here, depending on what happens. The monumental um announcement. I'm just gonna turn that down. I'm just gonna turn it off for now. Um, realistically, I, 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 this is kind of important, so, let me see, I think it's this, yeah, okay, I got it, we're good, I turned it off, <clears throat> I just don't want it to bug, uh, bug us when we're trying to see, uh, trying to see this happen. I thought I turned it off, didn't I? Okay, maybe I didn't. Uh, there we go. Okay, now we should be good. I did. You have to. You have to check something else. See, this thing about OBS. There's so much stuff going on. You have to click something that says "shut down source" when not visible. So I had to shut it down further. So <laughs> now we're good. Yeah, I know. People are like, lower your expectations. You know what? We've been lowering expectations for a while. I'm just, I'm ready for, for Pokemon. There's, yeah, someone just said it. There's, there's 70,000 people over in that, in that, uh, stream for, for Nintendo. I think everybody's ready for a Switch Pokemon. This is, like I said, guys, this is the first time, possibly if they do it right, uh, in, in the 21 year history of the franchise to show up on a home console. This is a big deal. This is a really big deal. So I, I, I'm, <laughs> Huh, I really hope they don't mess this up. Because <laughs> Microsoft jumped ahead with their Scorpio, right? But this would be Nintendo jumping in front of Scorpio <laughs> with a massive announcement. Right, yeah, if it's for the Switch, it's, good luck. Good luck finding a Switch anywhere. People are saying eight, eight minutes of pure disappointment. <laughs> I mean, we've heard about this. Really, like I said, if if it's not it, then your gamer looks bad. But at this point, I just I just want it to be it, you know. So I'm I'm ready. I would like to do a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe tournament, or just Mario Kart 8 Deluxe gameplay in general. Philip keeps talking about it too, like jumping on the channel and doing it. So I think it'd be fun. If we did some racing. They're up to eighty thousand now over on that stream they might hit a hundred thousand the direct is an a, an entire eight minutes <laughs> eight minutes it's gonna be pretty short <laughs> but really i don't care as long as it's like straight to the point like boom here's you know uh pokemon on the switch here's how it works with the 3ds go buy it <laughs> we didn't even think that we didn't even talk about that guys when would the release date be would it be this year that's the other question i feel like they would have it out by this fall, um, if they're going to announce it now, considering something like, uh, like Mario X rabbits is going to be, uh, announced and then two months later come out. Pokemon first person shooter. <laughs> That'd be interesting. That would be something. Oh man, this is great. This is this is going to be awesome. Like, I'm actually really excited for E3 and everything, like usual, but it's going to be so much fun streaming this stuff. Like, I'm going to probably stream, like, everything. I'm definitely streaming EA Play this weekend because we're going to see what EA has for the Switch, but right now it just it looks like typical EA fashion. So, 
Yeah, they're, they'll hit their hundred thousand mark there. This is so. This is such a big deal. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Come on. Come on, Pokemon Switch. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Come on. Yeah, they just hit 100,000. Dude, it, the, the, the hype is real over there. <laughs> Their chat, impossible to see. It's just like flying, like constantly. It's It's so funny. Uh, but he, the, apparently a lot of stuff, if this is going to be a direct beforehand, which is insane to think that they don't have, uh, they don't have enough room to do all this. I mean, it's an eight minute thing. They, they just wanted to jump out. We got less than a minute. Um, here we go. It's about to happen. It's about to happen. I am ready. Come on. 10 a.m. Here we go. Here we up. Oh, here we go. Hey, Hello, everyone. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Today, I'll be delivering the latest news about Pokemon from our offices. As many of you know, Nintendo launched its new system, Nintendo Switch, on March 3rd. You may even be playing some games on your own Nintendo Switch already. And now, finally, we are excited to announce a Pokemon game for the system. Here we go. Right our away. first title on Nintendo Switch will be the Pokemon fighting game. Pokemon <laughs> Tournament Deluxe. Ah, Pokemon Tournament's still good. We've prepared a special trailer to showcase the game. Please take a look. Pokemon Tournament's good, though. Pokemon.Battle. So they're basically just they're porting Pokemon Pokemon Tournament over like they did with Mario Kart kinda. Which is fine. Wake up on a new day. Running through the highway. Working on my oh. dream. Can't stop the sun stream. Waking up the sunshine. Yeah, there's a lot of people who missed this game because they didn't have a Wii U, but they have a Switch now. It's the same thing with Mario Kart. It's gonna sell well. It's gonna be a big seller. That whole battle animation and everything. <laughs> It looks like it'll have just straight up ad hoc like uh, like local play, which is good. Yeah, because they only have till what ten oh eight, so. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking there'll be some other uh, reveal after this. <laughs> Oh, 
So they have single, I guess they have single Joy-Con play as well. Wow, that's soon. Oh, oh, there's a 3DS. There you go. I guess they, are they really announcing it on the 3DS? <laughs> yep, they're announcing it on the 3DS. Oh, man. Yeah, Ultra, what? I hope you enjoyed that. Pokémon Tournament Deluxe takes full advantage of the variety Ultra Sun of and Ultra modes Moon. made possible what that? on Nintendo Switch. You can, of course, connect your console to a TV to enjoy dynamic Pokémon battles on a larger screen. Or if you want, you can play in tabletop mode, share one of your Joy-Con with another player, and dive into a match anytime, anywhere. In the Wii U version of Pokémon Tournament, players could choose from 16 playable Pokémon. In addition to those, the Nintendo Switch version will include Darkrai, okay. Scizor, Empoleon, and Krogunk, as well as Decidui from Pokemon yeah, Sun I don't and understand Pokemon that, Moon that, uh, for a total of five new playable Pokemon. The the Sun and Moon thing going on, on there that, because it just can came out. Three versus three That's team less battles, than a, that'd be as like well less as than a online year. ranked matches and friend only group matches. I don't get that. We're one. really giving it the deluxe treatment. Pokémon Tournament Deluxe will launch on September twenty second. I mean, that's at least soon. Starting on June thirteenth in LA at this year's E three, one of the world's largest gaming conventions, we will have a playable demo for you to enjoy at the show. Mm-hmm. We're also planning on including this title on Nintendo Treehouse Live. In addition, the game will be featured in its own full-on invitational tournament at E3 as an on-stage event, which we're live streaming right oh, from the man. show floor. So please look forward to it. As for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra yeah, what is that about? which we announced that new trailer just a few moments ago, I would like to pass it on to someone who can tell you more about it. What is Ultra Sun and Ultra... Ugh. Hello everyone, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. I'd like to introduce you to the latest installments of the Pokemon series for the Nintendo 3DS family of systems, Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. These games offer an alternate story taking place in the world of what? Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, featuring Pokemon that didn't appear in the original versions. New features will allow you to enjoy your adventure even more, what? making this truly an ultra title. I don't... Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon will see a simultaneous global release on the Nintendo 3DS That's family a... of systems oh. on November 17th. Please stay tuned for more information. Man, uh, that's not good. I have one more announcement Come on. for you. This fall, we'll release Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version for the Virtual Console service on Nintendo 3DS. Uh, I mean, that's something, I guess. Pokemon Gold version and Pokemon Silver version were originally released in 1999 as the second installment in the Pokemon They're series. They were good, obviously. With these virtual console releases, we've recaptured all the fun of those original Game Boy Color games, and both will become compatible with the Pokemon Bank application. We hope you look forward to reliving the excitement all over again. The games will launch on the same day as Pokemon Tournament Deluxe, what? September 22nd. Oh, man. Thank you, Mr. Masuda. We'll be hard at work on Pokémon Tournament okay. Deluxe for Nintendo Switch, Pokémon Ultra Sun and Pokémon Ultra Moon for Nintendo 3DS, That's, uh, and Pokémon Gold Sun, version Moon, and Pokémon Silver version for the Nintendo 3DS Virtual Console service for all of you Pokémon fans. That's it for today. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. That was, uh... Okay, that was something. I'm honestly shocked. How I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> Ultra Sun and Mo oh man, that's like uh, I guess that's like how people are saying it's like black and white too, kind of. But that's that, that's that's a little odd.
they had a shot too. They had a chance. Uh, now of course they're still E3, but um, ooh man, Pokemon tournament's good. That's out what September, so that's at least out soon, and that'll be another game to add to the list for the holiday season. But I mean, we heard all about this Pokemon Stars from Eurogamer, and we we don't see it anywhere. And they just had a full Pokemon Direct and completely left out this Eurogamer rumored Pokemon Stars. So, um, man. I, I kind of wish I had, I didn't, they didn't put a rumor like that out now because that's, uh, that's tough. That's really tough. Oh man. Look at the chat. Oh no. <laughs> Everyone's all mad in the chat over at, um, the Pokemon, uh, page. It's just flying. Um, yeah. Cause that's, that's all we heard about. How long have we heard about that from Tom Phillips over at Eurogamer for, uh, Pokemon stars and mm, nothing. So it's disappointing they still get Pokemon tournament which is uh a good it's a good game a lot of people missed it on the on the wii u and people now play it on the switch and it has pokemon outside so it will sell i don't like this I don't, this ultra sun and ultra moon that's a little um that's a little odd that that doesn't that's not a good look i think but it's pokemon it'll sell um that's just that's just something i wish they had been like oh here is ultra sun and ultra moon and it's going to the the switch or something and it's, it's the same game it's just much better looking on the switch people would like that because the the frame rate on the 3ds is not very good for those games so i think uh, i think people would have liked that there's still e3 but their e3 presentation is already going to be packed because they'll want to show us a lot of mario odyssey they'll want to show us the Ra rabbits game because there's a lot to show us there since it's out in two months um and, and all these other announcements we think are going to happen metroid and and bunch of stuff so I, I don't know it was um it was definitely disappointing but i hope uh i hope they they rectified at e3 this isn't this technically wasn't their e3 and out like conference they just had this because they couldn't fit that stuff into e3 which makes sense because now that we see it they weren't big announcements technically poke tournament was out on the wii u um so it's not a new game and ultra sun and ultra moon is is well it's it's what it looks like <laughs> it's not uh it's not it's not a new pokemon game we'll say that right so yeah that's kind of that's kind of where we are right now on this one right um although there there was almost 3000 of you guys in here so that was cool <laughs> um but i don't i don't know what to make of that guys uh I was yeah that's the thing Nintendo really wants to push this 3DS along which is fine but they didn't even announce a new 3DS Pokemon at all it was uh it was a, the same 3DS game that's now has Ultra in front of it although they did say it's gonna have a new story and it's gonna have um a new story and it's gonna have uh, uh what you call it um more Pokemon added which I guess we needed that <laughs> oh uh someone asked what happened uh nothing <laughs> No, they're porting Pokemon Tournament over as a deluxe version, which is cool. So you get that fighting game. And uh, then they they released, like, that half step for Pokemon Moon and Sun, Ultra po Pokemon Ultra Moon, Pokemon Ultra Sun. And that was it. <laughs> the problem is we've been we've been getting hit with these Pokemon Stars rumors so much that we, we pretty much are trained to think that Pokemon Stars is coming. Um, we did at least get a Pokemon Switch game. But it's not the one we all wanted. So unfortunately, we're just kind of we're kind of disappointed right now. But like I said, that wasn't their E3 announcement. We still have to get to their E3 to see what they have to, for us. So no, it's kind that that part's kind of up to Game Freak. I will say that. So yeah, like Ultra Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I get it. Some people are gonna be excited for it. And that's fine because it's it's new Pokemon. Why not? But um. I look at it and I go, man, that's, uh, oof. I don't know. <laughs> I was, you know, I, maybe I was, I was just hopeful that we were going to get that, um, that reveal. I don't know. <clears throat> People are going to be disappointed. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed, but I'm not, at least there's a switch Pokemon game coming in the form of Pokemon tournament, but there should have been a full fledged Pokemon game. Game freak really needs to, to get off the three DS for a minute and try it and see what happens. Cause I have a feeling it'll sell very well on the switch. I think everybody who owns a switch is probably going to buy Pokemon, right? I mean, that's, that's, I think that's how it'll be. So in fact, you might even get more sales for the three DS. 
if you have this game on the Switch because somebody who does not have a 3DS and buys it on their Switch might go, oh, I need this. I need the 3DS version so I can trade. Let me go buy a th- or a 2DS Excel even. So I'm going to give them E3 because, of course, that's big two. Maybe they're like, you know, what? we're going to break the mold. The Switch is new. We're just going to announce it at E3. I'll give them that. Just like how I'm going to give EA the benefit of the doubt with EA Play for now until I get really annoyed at them. I mean, already annoyed, but... <laughs> And see, a mystery dungeon wouldn't be bad either. I'd be alright, mystery dungeon. That's another game a lot of people didn't play. But there, like, there's so many, there's so many options that they could have done. And uh, and uh, you know what's really funny is I have a feeling uh, who you call it? Uh, Euro gamers, they're gonna people are gonna forget that they put that rumor out there for Pokemon Stars. Got everyone excited. Somehow they'll just get off the hook. I don't know how that works out. But. <clears throat> well, no, no, I see. That's the thing. People are saying that uh, everybody messed up, not Nintendo. I, I think people who put that rumor out have messed up at this point. Because um, <laughs> not only did that, but they kind of kept it going as well, posting things on Twitter uh, when like that stars picture with Pikachu in the center got re- released. So, <clears throat> oh no, is NeoGaf down? <laughs> did people just start freaking out on NeoGaf? Oh, I have to check this. Let me see. Is NeoGAF actually down? Oh, no, it's up. It's up. You just, you know, people are losing their mind over there, though. Yeah, people are losing their mind over there. Oh, man. You know it was going to happen, though. No, it wasn't that one. I don't. That one wasn't Laura K. Taylor. That one was Eurogamer. That was Tom Phillips at Eurogamer who released that. Uh, the um, Pokemon Stars rumor. That one was not Laura K. Taylor. That one was that was Tom Phillips at Eurogamer. Same person who said the uh, Super Nintendo Classic is coming. Although we at least saw something from Microsoft asking about it. So, not really sure how they would know though. <laughs> NeoGAF is actually really funny to read sometimes because that's like that's the ultimate place to go if you want to see like over the top reaction about anything. Like people will lose their mind over there about stuff that's really small. I can't imagine they took they saw Pokemon Tournament and mistook it mistook it for um Pokemon Stars. That wouldn't make sense uh, unless he heard there was a Pokemon game in development. And then called it Pokemon Stars on his own. That's all I can imagine. Yeah, we'll see it E3. I'm hoping for something really cool at E3, even if it's not Pokemon. I, I would like Metroid, as you guys probably know by now with my channel. Um, where I always talk about how much I like, I love Metroid growing up. I would love to see a new Metroid game. <laughs> Just about all the Fallout. Oh, there's a new Fallout game coming out? <laughs> nah, I was kidding. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens, because you know, um, you know, news places are gonna pick this up, and uh, uh, like Taku and um, probably Polygon, and just say the you know Nintendo made this massive mistake, and then watch Nintendo announce it at E3, you know, just just hypothetically, and then they they look like idiots. So, <laughs> yeah, what about the people who already paid the forty bucks for the Sun and Moon? Now they gotta buy it again. Now I know they did the same thing with Black and White and Black and White Two, but still, it's like different age man you know put that put that switch version out i was hoping when it popped up on screen that like they were gonna turn and somebody was playing the um the switch version next to them with the 3ds <laughs> and that's i mean that isn't that what the that that makes sense right ultra moon and ultra sun it could be like the the versions with like ultra settings on the switch <laughs> like it was they even named it correctly oh man yeah, no, I mean, it's it's a good game. It's just a lot of people um, are going to be disappointed now because of that. So, it's going to happen. Um, yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough. Yeah, Pokemon Pokemon Tournament's going to be fun. Oh, says <laughs> Uh, I bet, no, I bet you, um, I bet you Pokemon, Pokemon Tournament plays better on the, on the Switch just because the CPU is probably much better. The Wii U's CPU is so bad. It was insane. <laughs> You'll remember, remember the date. Uh, 
Oh man, I I don't know what to tell you guys on this one. Unfortunately, it was uh, it wasn't what people were expecting, but we'll give him a chance. Uh, we'll see what E3 is, because really, realistically, for me, a Metroid announcement completely makes up for this. <laughs> like, that's how much I want Metroid. Yeah, right. We get FIFA t yesterday, and then now we get this, which yeah, Pokemon Poke tournament, and it's out soon, right? Pokemon tournament's out September, so it's out in like three and a half months now. It'd be it's pretty quick. Um. <laughs> uh, but you know what? We'll see what happens at E3. Now, this is another port, if you consider it, because it is, uh, what it it's the, the deluxe version. It's very similar to Mario Kart Deluxe. Um, so the people who have Pokemon tour Pokemon tournament on the Wii U will and have a Switch will buy it. People who didn't have a Wii U will buy it. I bet you that at least hits one to two million sales pretty quickly. Just Probably by the end of a uh, holiday season, it'll have probably eclipsed one, one and a half million pretty easily. So, yes, um, we'll see. Like I said, yeah, uh, for what's that? Both of them, November seventeenth, I believe. I believe November November seventeenth. Going a little off memory here for uh, Ultra Sun and Moon, and then we had uh, September twenty second for Pokin Tournament. Yes, so we have uh, we have release dates for that. Um, that was, uh, that was interesting though. <laughs> Metroid Prime 4 is 100% coming. I'm holding you to that, that it's on the way. No, <laughs> no, they come out and say Federation Force 2 for the Switch. No, just give me Metroid Prime, man. Go back to the, go back to the Prime series here. Uh, yeah, this is, this is kind of large disappointment because this, this could have been history making. So it's, it's a little, it's more of a shame from like even a historian standpoint, because this would have been like, like this would have been history right here. Um, and the Pokemon, Pokemon's 21 years. It's never had a full fledged game on a console and it was so close. <laughs> it was so close. He was, we got, we have a new Pokemon game for the switch and this Pokemon tournament is like, Oh, I mean, that's cool, but, oh. <clears throat> no, I, I know people are excited because it's, you know, it's going to be fun. It's a Pokemon tournament. There's going to be plenty of people who do, like, the, the competitions that can now travel easily with their own system. That's great. Um, it'll be easier for people to kind of practice while they're in the crowd waiting for their turn as well. If they want to try to get their move correct or their timing down, that makes sense as well. So I think um, I think the Switch is perfect for esports if they can get it like popular <laughs> with esports. They also need to get more of them out there. So yeah, that's a good question. I mean, they already added some stuff. They said ask if it's free DLC. I don't know. That's tough. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot of things that did not come true. Rumor wise, uh, obviously Pokemon Stars did not come true. Um, Mother 3 did not come true. Mother 3 is still missing, despite people really going out on a limb and telling us that it was going to be it. That presser, remember that? People were jumping out, saying it was on the way. Maybe that means we see it at E3. I don't know. It seemed, That seems like a weird E3 announcement to have, since, I'm going to be honest, most of the people now have no idea what that game is. <laughs> So yeah, there's still uh, there's still a lot of stuff left to go here. Um, maybe E3 has a few announcements, but there's still quite a few going to the Switch this year from Nintendo side. Um, Fire Emblem Warriors will be there. Uh, supposedly Xenoblade 2, we'll see. Mario. I mean, this is going to be the first year where a big Mario game and a big Zelda game release that close together. So, um, yeah, gold just for the 3DS. That's... Um, I think that's a bit of a that's a bit of a letdown as well. Gold and silver just being 3DS games. I don't know that because hmm. we already have a DS game we can play uh, that is gold and silver, right? How is that not? How does that not make to the Switch? I, I mean, there's no Virtual Console yet, so I don't I don't know. There's a lot of things they could have done here. I get they desperately want the, the 3DS to stick around for now because if the 3DS goes away, they only have one system on the market then. I think that scares them a little bit, especially since the Switch doesn't have a large user base yet. 
So they don't want the 3DS to go away that has, what, like 60 million people playing it right now, or at least have bought one. I don't think they can afford to let that go right now and then go down to, you know, the, the, the what we think to be almost 4 million Switch units. So I at least understand that. It's almost like uh, they just kind of they just kind of threw those Pokemon games out just to keep the interest on the 3DS going with minimal work. I don't want to say minimal work, but obviously less work than say a, a Switch version of Pokemon. <laughs> 80 million, yeah. That, that's what I mean. They don't want to leave that. They don't want to leave that install base, right? They want to keep it. So I at least understand that. Um, but I just I feel like they could have kept Sun and Moon around, not done this weird little half step, and. Uh, or at least if they do the half step, add the Switch version in as well. Yeah, I know. Nintendo doesn't make the Pokemon games. It's Pokemon Company and Game Freak. And they probably look at the Switch numbers and go, well, that doesn't make any sense. But really, they should get themselves introduced to the Switch crowd now. Because when the Switch install base is much larger next year, they'll want to do it. And it would be nice if they had one already out. They're, they're, the, the, the new, I guess, Ultra Sun and Moon are supposed to be, uh, they have new stories and everything, like a new story mode. It has new Pokemon that were not there in the, in the last ones. Um, seems to be it. Uh, you can change clothes on your characters, I guess, alternate outfits. Um, but, uh, yes, that's all we can hope is that there is some new version coming at E3, but man, I am, hmm. The, you can go on there, they probably, um, they probably put it up there, so. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed. I, I would have liked to have seen a Switch Pokemon game, obviously. Um, I, I talk about how much I don't like the 3DS's screen all the time, and the Switch's screen is, like, night and day compared to it. Uh, so, and it would have run so, so well on the Switch. Uh, like, it would have ran probably, they probably would have been able to get 60 frames out of it at 1080p without any issue. Um, so, man. I just, I don't understand how Monster Hunter beats Pokemon to the Switch. I have no idea how that happens. Yeah, so. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> we'll see. Like I said, E3 is still coming up, guys. Nintendo's presser is, at this point, almost a full week from now. And, uh, you never know. You never know what happens. Maybe they'll, maybe they have something really cool set up over, uh, over at E3 for us. So, I'll at least give them that. Yeah, that's the thing. Mo- how I, I don't see how Monster Hunter's coming uh, before Pokemon. <laughs> I have no idea how that happens, but eh, what can you do? Man, that's something. Oh well. Well, at least there's what you call it anyway. Um, there is a Pokemon tournament. People are gonna be excited. All right, then. Uh, yep. <laughs> Ten Apple of gaming. Uh, okay, well, it's almost 1030, so I have to uh, sign off now. You know what is fun? I will, I'll, I'll let this thing just upload and go up for you guys, just in case you want to watch it. Um, it'll get claimed, but I really don't care. It's uh, just in case anybody wants to watch the full direct back, it's there, so... Um, good times though. Uh, E3 will be streaming. Um, EA play is this Saturday, three o'clock my time, um, 12 PM on the West coast. So, uh, be there for that because I want to see what EA is going to do here because if they come out and give us that, that just that terrible, terrible FIFA port where they're going to treat it like it's a 360 PS3 version. Mm, that's not good. Cause they're going to charge 60 bucks for it. So it was fun though. Um, I'll see you guys definitely. Uh, I'll probably I have another video I think coming out this week, this uh, later on today. But go check out Newswave because I I kind of laid into uh, EA a little more than well not not really a little more than I should have <laughs> about about the correct amount. So uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, I'll see you. Uh, I'll see you later on. And then like I said, Saturday I know we're doing a stream. And then of course Spawncast that night. I'll see you guys later.